welcome to the official opening ceremony of One with Nature World of Hunting and Nature Exhibitions Pavilion A, the International Hall and also the World Conservation Forum. It's an honor to welcome our distinguished speakers, Mr. Laszlo Pakovic, Hungary's Minister of Innovation and Technology. Mr. Jose Podgorszek, Slovenia's Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Food. <laughs> Dr. Philip Harmer, Deputy President of the International Council for Game and Wildlife Conservation. <laughs> and Mr. Zoetan Kovac, Hungarian Government Commissioner. and of course, all of our guests. And I now invite Mr. Laszlo Pakovic, Hungary's Minister of Innovation and Technology, to come to the stage and deliver his speech. Thank you. The guests, the ladies and gentlemen, I cordially greet you at the One with Nature World Hunting and Nature Exhibition in the International Hall, where you can meet not all innovators uh, of the greenest nations of the world, but in the Innovation Showroom, you can also try the Hungarian innovation achievements. The profile of this event, uh, wildlife management and nature conservation, and innovation complement uh, each other perfectly as both serve the Homo Faber, the man of the maker. The world around us presupposes and demands extraordinary adaptability, so we must be ready for constant renewal. As a minister, my important task is to build on Hungary's proverbial creativity to further improve its innovation performance. Innovation is particularly useful in unexpected situations. It gives strength, energy, and drive to face new challenges, as the whole world has experienced recently. Hungary was one of the first countries to emerge from the virus crisis as a result of its successful management of the epidemic. While it is estimated that the global economy will only reach its uh, previous performance by the end of 2022, the value produced by the Hungarian economy uh, already exceeded its pre-crisis level in the second quarter of 2021. The economic output of our country in the second quarter was about one-seventh up on a year before, which is the third best performance in the European Union. The economic recovery is also supported by the second highest investment rate in the European Union at almost 30%. In 2020, a decision was taken to launch an investment support program worth almost 1,000 billion forints, resulting in nearly 2,000 billion forints of investment, and the contract is stock of announced loan and guarantee schemes exceeded 5,000 billion Hungarian forints. Thanks to the workplace protection measures, the number of the employees approached 4.7 million in the summer of 2021, a record level uh, that has not been seen for 30 years. The 3.9 unemployment rate is one of the six best in the European Union. The reorganization of the labor market has been accompanied by the rise of higher value-added products and activities. The number of employees in scientific and technical sections increased by 11% and in info communication by one fifth. The goal of the Hungarian government is to lay the foundation for sustainable long-term economic growth in as much as the now provided funds can determine the future of Hungary for decades. Climate protection is of paramount importance of this, on this path, and I'm convinced that one with the nature, world hunting, and nature exhibition, which is held again half a century after the first world hunting exhibition in Budapest, will provide important impetus. I'm confident that half a century later, we will be able to continue this tradition successfully, and we'll also be able to draw attention to the unique beauty of the Hungarian landscape. The ladies and gentlemen, the activities of the government, including the Ministry for Innovation and Technology, focus on supporting enterprises, especially small and medium-sized ones. Without these activities, it would be impossible to create a Hungarian-owned, green and high-tech economy as drone technology or the use of artificial intelligence solutions in agriculture, the new generation of smart foods and educational innovations to serve and achieve sustainable development goals. 
While Hungarian small and medium enterprises employ two-thirds of the country's workforce, their readiness to innovate is still low. Knowledge-based modernization and digitalization of their operations will increase their efficiency and strengthen their position by providing marketable and exportable products and services at home and abroad. The government will therefore specifically encourage their cooperation with universities and research institutes. This will bring together the skills of, Hung of Hungary's scientific and business communities, reinforce each other, and increase Hungary's competitiveness. A knowledge-based economy boosting research, development, and innovation is the key to the growth of business and the better quality of life for families. The Ministry of Innovation and Technology was created with the mission to be the most powerful ministry in the history of the Hungarian economy, to mainstream this approach throughout the economy, higher education, and vocational training. As a result of our successful operation, Hungary has been able to move ahead in the Global Innovation Index despite of the virus crisis. Hungary is one of the only 10 European countries to have improved its overall score compared to the last year, and it is now on the 31st international ranking. We were the 20th best performance in terms of knowledge creation and technological performance among the countries surveyed in this uh, uh, system. The government has been steadily increasing its spending on research development and innovation, which has already exceeded 700 billion Hungarian forints. The unprecedented level of funding is well over double the amount spent in 2010. In 2021, a total of 182 billion forints of government support will be available for research and development calls. Our priority is consciously green certain sectors and develop a circular economy to protect the environment. The Green Bus Program, a key initiative for the Climate and Nature Action Plan, will be one of the first to bring the benefits uh, of uh, this to visitors of the exhibition. The 40 brand new buses under this program are transporting visitors to this event. The vehicles will reduce the operator's emission by more than uh, 1,800 tons per year, and its running cost by 64 inches per kilometer traveled. These buses are a great uh, ex uh, example uh, of the uh, practical application of the university products to achieve sustainable development goals. Greening transport uh, will make a significant contribution to our joint efforts to achieve Hungary's 2050 climate neutrality commitment. I urge everyone to contribute uh, with bold but viable ideas to meet the challenges of sustainable development, because only through innovation can our future be predictable and secure. I wish all of you an enjoyable and enriching visit to the exhibition and in the interactive programs. The International Hall and the Innovation Showroom hereby is officially opened. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Minister Pakovic. I would like to invite Mr. Josip Podgorsak, Slovenia's Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Food, to deliver his speech. Dear Ministers, Excellencies, distinguished guests, as the President of the Agriculture and Fisheries Council of the European Union, I have the honor today to address you among the esteemed speakers on the occasion of the inauguration of the Pavilion A of the World of Hunting and Nature exhibition, One with Nature. Since its inception in 1971, one with Nature has maintained a positive message to the entire global community, raising the awareness of the general public across the world on the importance of the rational, sensible, and prudent development of civilization, while at the same time maintaining sustainable management of natural resources. For half a century, the exhibition has been promoting eco-friendly thinking and sustainability to address complex economic, social, and environmental issues. Human development can only be sustainable if we do not destroy the ecosystems on which people and animals depend. The human population around the world continues to grow. Anthropogenic ecosystem change are increasingly affecting nature today. Habitat degradation and fragmentation and global warming are changing essential living conditions for all living beings. Increasing and preserving biodiversity remains the task of the, of the present and future generations. 
I believe that we are united in this message and that we need to maintain the presence of native animal species and keep their hab habitats and as intact as possible in response to climate change. At the fair, Slovenia will pr present an ecosystem approach to forest and wildlife management. In Slovenia, we are aware that the plant and animal components of the forests are strongly linked. The ecosystem approach is therefore implemented primarily through joint long-term forest and wildlife management plans. We will also present the organization of hunting, hunting tourism, fisheries, and green tourism. Wildlife and hunting are under public scrutiny and subject to conflicting interests. They need to be addressed professionally, especially in the area of management planning and sustainable wildlife management. They must be handled with tolerance and understanding while stakeholders and all other users of space harmonize their conflicting interests. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, one with nature enjoys strong support and international participation from experts who will come together to discuss key hunting and biodiversity issues, including the fight against poaching and the conservation of nature. A pavilion A, countries, organizations, and international exhibitors will present their products as their stands. The World Conservation Forum will also be held in this hall where visitors and participants will have the opportunity to hear from renowned and respected international speakers. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you many constructive discussions, excellent presentations, and a pleasant atmosphere. And above all, stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. And I now give the words to Dr. Philip Hammer, Deputy President of the International Council for Game and Wildlife Conservation. Thank you. Uh, Imperial Highness, Deputy Prime Minister, Excellencies, esteemed and distinguished guests, the CIC is impressed, and I want to thank Hungary for everything what we can see here. When I arrived, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what the Hungarian government uh, put up here to start this conservation forum, to start this idea that hunting is not pure hunting, but it is a tool of, of conservation. Uh, hunting renders a service to society. We enhance biodiversity. We contribute to conservation. We bring good meat, healthy meat on the table. We control wildlife. We manage damages. We look that the damages are not getting out of hand. And also we fulfill one thing, which is the title of this exhibition, the longing of the humans to be one with nature. Hunters, hunting is this. Hunters do that. And conservation is simply the thing we need to do to have it ongoing for the children, for the grandchildren, for the next generations. I'm a keen hunter. And as a hunter, I went through different periods. When I started, I wanted to copy my father. Then I was a consumer, a poor consumer. I was invited to hunt. I enjoyed going out with my father, going out with my friends. In the next stage of my life, I had my own hunting place. I had to become a manager. I had to understand what producing means. And now I have children. And with these children, I enjoy hunting in the way that I want to pass it on to them that they are there uh, for the next, for their children and for the next generation and next generation because it is something so special. CIC, the CIC stands for conservation. If I take our vision, so we have this as a world where wildlife is valued and conserved, 
as part of nature for the benefit of, of humanity. So in our vision, the center word is conservation. The same in our mission, to promote and support the conservation of wildlife and related landscapes, local communities and traditions through sustainable use, including hunting. So the CSC has conservation in our DNA, deep in our heart. And it is an honor and wonderful for us that we can be part of this kickoff of this World Conservation Forum here in Budapest. I want to thank uh, Soltan, I want to thank Hungary that they put hunting in line with conservation and we will be definitely part of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy President. And last but not least, I invite Mr. Zoltan Kovac, Government Commissioner, to deliver his speech. Distinguished guests, uh, dear friends, the stage, or rather the actors on the stage, are not accidental. I got to tell you that uh, we've been working on uh, constructing the proper opening ceremony for a stage which is completely new. The World Conservation Forum came as an idea about a year ago, uh, partly from CIC and partly from my group, that when we bring and put together this world exhibition of hunting and nature, we should also care about the, the narrative as we speak. I'm a communications guy. Many knew, know me that I'm government spokesman for almost the past uh, 12 years. So I've been running and uh, acting in the field of government communications. And we all know that it's simply not enough to be good, to act good, and have good policies. You have to be able to talk about it. And I believe the stage here, the actors here, are presenting exactly those actors we need uh, to integrate in terms of their contents, their speeches, their approaches, and that's why we have chosen. Laszlo, uh, the, um, pa Laszlo Pakovic, the Minister of uh, Innovation and Technology, here presented a lecture and an approach which is a testimony about Hungary's devotion to green purposes. And I believe, as uh, the Prime Minister always emphasizes, we are champions of those green goals, uh, especially if it's about carbon dioxide, uh, per, um, um, uh, goals and, uh, and other issues, including uh, the uh, introduction and the building of the capacities of renewable energy. How does it relate to hunting? It relates to hunting because at the end of the day, it all relates to the management of our natural environment, which is taking off the burden and is providing a more livable environment, not only for humans, but also for wildlife. Uh, Mr. Podgorsak, who we met about a year and a half ago, if I'm right, uh, and we started to talk about how Slovenia would be able to come to the, uh, to the exhibition itself. We discovered that uh, Slovenia is providing uh, the European presidency of the Council uh, until the end of the year. So this is a perfect uh, opportunity not only to bring in Slovenia, but bring in a Central European perspective uh, manifested by Slovenia, which is bringing the green agenda, which is bringing the content we are talking about during the 20 days uh, onto the top European agenda. And I think it's been uh, proven and is going to be proved that uh, yes, hunters, those who care about hunt, who care about nature management and wildlife management, has the most to say about uh, the care of our natural environment and how to manage it on a daily basis. And needless to say, uh, Philip is a good friend, but CIC is our largest and uh, strongest partner in that effort for the past couple of years. CIC headquarters, as a matter of fact, are here in Hungary. So very obviously, we have invited them uh, to come here, contribute, and be partners, not simply during the 20 days, but also constructing the stage. Uh, we had a couple of meetings before uh, the exhibition. And uh, more and more come to me and suggest that the idea of the Conservation Forum, which again, is not a new organization. This is a stage. This is a stage set for all who wanted to have a say, who wanted to have a narrative part regarding renewable, regarding uh, ecological as, uh, perspectives, regarding sustainable use of our natural environment, can come together and talk to each other. Our hope is that during the 20 days, we will be able to conduct 
a number of very good conversations with the various actors, most of it conducted in English. 60-65% of the conversations are going to be in English, the rest in Hungarian. And at the end of the day, we would be able to synthesize something that would be meaningful for all, not only Slovenians, Hungarians, or uh, uh, this international community represented by CIC, but probably in regions, uh, in places around the globe, which haven't found yet their voice that would be able to advocate and make a voice to their concerns, their approaches, and their knowledge. So the very goal we've been talking about at the opening ceremony, that this is not only and simply uh, a gathering where we show the elements of our culture, the knowledge we have, but at the same time we take care of the narrative, we take uh, uh, care of the content, advocating and vocated in a way that can be understood by an, uh, everyone. I believe this is the beginning of it. I very much appreciate that uh, you were here and you were able to contribute, and I wish everyone a very good and very fruitful conversation here at the stage and that the meetings you are going to have during the 20 days. Thank you.